ever heard of someone talking about brain damage, heart attack, stroke, following COVID-19? I am Firoz, a third year medical student. <laughs> I am Firoz, a third year medical student, and today we will be knowing the, what are post-COVID complications. So before I begin, there is something you must know. According to a study done in Italy and published in JAMA, that is Journal of American Medical Association, stated that. 87.4% of the people recovering from COVID-19 even after being discharged from the hospital for two months they had either of the two symptoms prolonged fatigue or difficulty in breathing now to begin with what are post-covid complications these are some diseases or disorders which you might develop following recovery from COVID-19. In simple words, these are the after effects of COVID-19. So researchers and doctors all around the world have suggested, remember it's not yet proved, but they have suggested and there are high chances that coronavirus can affect permanently the lungs, even after recovery permanently the lungs, it can have a long lasting damage on heart, it can damage your brain and liver damage in seriously ill patients and many more. But the good thing is that you are less likely to have one of them. Because Randeep Guleria, the director of AIMS New Delhi said that out of the total patients in India only 5-10% to of the patients are critically ill. And out of those 5-10% to patients, only 15-20% to of the patients are likely to have a serious post-COVID complication. But, but the main thing of concern, as said by Dr. Neeraj, is, is even with mild and moderate severe, huh? even with mild and moderate severe, he said, we are witnessing impaired lung function in patients, in many patients, even after recovery from coronavirus. Hmm? So that is the main concern. Remember, there is a slight difference between panicking and taking precautions. You should not panic. You must not panic. But at the same time, you cannot afford to be careless because a mere stay of five to six days in hospital in a private setup can cost you 70,000 to 2 lakh. And this is not about private setup. This are the cost of medicine. The antiviral drugs are very costly. So if you are not still clear with the difference, I would urge you to go back and start again or else you will either start panicking with stroke, liver damage, lung damage and whatnot, or you will be a damn careless guy who still thinks that it is just a normal flu or a scam run by government. That's in this video. See you next week. Bye.